My twin's name is Charlotte Sigsig. My twin is Owen Connolly Clark. My twin's name is Delane. Well, my twin was Logan Porter, and he was a goalie. He was a very nice person. He's a good kid. He is really funny, and I don't know, I enjoyed lots of time with him. I'm most excited about getting along with the culture and getting along with the people. Probably the thing that excites me the most is being able to learn about their culture and also just playing some hockey. On April 27, 2018, the Mimico Canadians boarded a plane to Winnipeg. Once there, they transferred to Calm Air and with great excitement and anticipation flew to the Canadian tundra to meet their new friends once again. The Mimico Canadians were greeted in true Nunavut style and every player received a handmade parka and immediately made to feel taken care of and at home. Time and distance truly disappear when reunited with friends. Everyone made their way to what would be their homes for the next 10 days. And what an incredible 10 days it would be. Of course, there was the hockey, lots of hockey. It would seem that that was what started this exchange. Not just arena hockey, like in Toronto, but real, actual, outdoor pond hockey, like every Canadian kid should get to experience. hungry hockey players need food. And the food was fantastic. From the catered meals for the entire group to home-cooked country food with the host family, the country feast at Pakalak, the kids got to try all sorts of new foods. Caribou, muskox, beluga, amazing. And of course, there is a Tim Hortons everywhere. This is a Canadian exchange after all. The culture didn't stop there. From building their own fishing jiggers and ice scoopers, to pack -a -lot games, dog sledding, ice sculptures, igloo making, drum dancing, to throat singing, On a trip to the elder's cabin, the Toronto kids got a true taste of traditional Inuit life. A major highlight was sliding at Thompson Island, or you might just call it throwing yourself off a snow cliff. Ever heard of a polar bear pelt for a sled? Taking the bombardiers and Comatex out there was half the fun. The teams together were able to pay forward their own gratitude, and with the help of the Spin Master toy drive, were able to deliver toys to the needy in the Rankin community. There is no better feeling. Um, the toy drive felt awesome. Some of the stuff that we're bringing up there, like they may not have ever seen in their lives. She said, God bless you guys. And, I, and when I gave him the present, I just wanted to try and make him happy. It felt good to give kids presents that don't normally get presents. I gave up presents to the kids and I like see them smile. I just said like, oh, this is from Mimco Hockey and Rankin Rock and they just smile. So like their face just lit right up. The greatest memories created, however, were the times when the kids just got to hang out with their twin, when the purpose of it all came to fruition. 
to celebrate our differences and our similarities and to revel in the true North strong and free. The Northern exchange between the Rankin Rock and the Mimico Canadians was a life changer for everyone involved. Thank you Experiences Canada, the sponsors and everyone who made it happen. All of the parents and players who tirelessly fundraised and who made it incredible in both chapters. And most importantly, a huge thank you to the Mimico and Rankin communities who might not have been able to make the travel, but who supported with generosity of spirit, time, and enthusiasm. Again, this is a farewell and not a goodbye. Our friendships will live forever in our hearts. Till next time. I think I've met a whole new family of, like, people. Um, I would go back to Rankin in a heartbeat. I'd love to go back to Rankin Inlet because there's um, a lot of snow and I think it's fun. Well, Rankin Inlet was, it was really fun and it was a lot different than I expected. I'm really looking forward to going back to Rankin, but right now I want to get home to my cat. <laughs>